guys. So I wanted to talk to you about the American Greetings um, sale slash Hallmark sale that's going on this week at CVS. Um, for those of us that don't have Hallmark that um, are sold in our CVSs, the American uh, Greetings cards are the pretty much the same thing. Um, I think in the ad this week it says that it has to be $1.99 or higher or something like that, but um, I did two separate transactions, so I got six cards. Um, they're all birthday cards, and they're all $0.99. Cents. So if you buy three of the $0.99, cents, you will still get that $3 ECB. So um, I want to go through my first transaction. I don't have the receipt for it anymore, but I do have the ECB. Um, I bought three of the birthday cards, and they're all $3.99, and then I bought a box of cornflakes, and I didn't have a coupon or anything for it, but I did um, need that extra to put me over $5, because, because I had that $5 uh, extra, it was a beauty buck, so I bought that, and I ended up paying like zero out of pocket. I didn't have to swipe my card or anything like that. So, um, so yeah, that was it for that one. So I paid zero out of pocket, and then I got that three dollar ECB back. So that ended up being a money maker. Um, so that was my first card. The one that I normally use, I used it on that one since uh, my beauty buck was attached to it. So. And then for the second, um, I have a second card on my keychain that I use. Um, well, my car keychain with all my keys and stuff like that. So I have one on there, and then I went to another CVS that was just down the road, and I bought three more of the um, American Greeting cards, and they had a bigger selection, so that was awesome. And then, so $3.99 cent card, so subtotal two ninety seven and then tax twenty one cents, so I ended up paying three eighteen out of pocket and then I got that three dollar E C B again. So it means I ended up spending eighteen cents for the three cards, um, once I get the three dollar E C B back. So for my first transaction, since I bought the dollar ninety nine cornflakes with it, um I was driving, I was actually on my way home when I noticed that at Walgreens it said that their um, honey bunches of, not honey bunches of, honey nut Cheerios, the 24 ounce was $1.99. So I was like, why did I buy these cornflakes that I don't really like for $1.99 when I can go to Walgreens and pay less with a coupon. So I was like, let me turn back and return these. Um, the the cornflakes didn't spit out a any kind of ECB, so I didn't see that there was like a problem with turning it. For the most part, uh, you don't want to return something that gave you an ECB. Like if I returned those cards and I kept the three dollar ECB, they would look at me like I was there was something wrong with me, you know. It kind of gives you like a bad image towards like, how do I say this? It makes you look bad pretty much. Um, so you want to stay away from trying to return anything that gives you an ECB or any kind of register reward. But since that didn't give me anything, so I just decided to return it, I ended up getting $2.03 in um in a gift card from CVS, so technically I made three dollars and no. So I started off with five dollars in an extra care book, and then I ended up with five oh three with tax. So that's a three cent money maker, I guess. Once I got once I got that gift card back. Um. So the only thing I really ended up spending was 318 for um, the second the second store that I went to on those three cards. Yeah, and then 18 cents basically when you get the three dollar ECB back. So that was awesome. Um, what else? I wanted to show you guys the Hallmark coupons that there are on CVS.com. Uh, 
And also, if you go to the Hallmark website, it's uh, Facebook Tell Them Hallmark or something like that. Um, there's a $2 off any three Hallmark cards, and it has to be a minimum purchase of $2. And this expires 12:30, so this is what it looks like. And you can also combine that with the $3 off of your total shopping trip when you buy three Hallmark cards. And you have to make sure that in order to use a CVS coupon that you're buying a $1.99 minimum price per card. So you have to buy cards that are more than $1.99, $1.99 or more. So you can combine these since one is a CVS coupon and the other one is a Hallmark coupon. Um, and then you could probably make this into a money maker depending on which cards you get. Or you can get really, really cheap Christmas cards or anything like that. Um, the CVS coupon doesn't expire until the 25th, so I'm probably going to end up using this in Georgia, hopefully. Um, they still have the $3 deal going on. If not, then they'll just be cheap. What else? There is also a coupon for the American Greetings, but it's not as good as a coupon as the other ones that I just showed you. This is a dollar off any three um, cards purchased, and they have to be more than 99 cents. This is a giant coupon. So I don't think I was gonna, I'm going to be using this, but if you guys do decide to use it, it expires the 14th of December. So, um, I want to talk to you guys about the Target, uh, the Target deal. If you go to Target.com, go under coupons, there is a coupon for a free $10 gift card. Um, with a purchase of $50 or more. You can only use one coupon per guest. So that means you can only use one coupon. If your husband's there, he can use one coupon, so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, keep in mind you're only going to get one $10 gift card in one transaction. I was trying to get that deal today, um, but I failed because they don't have the eco tools at my target or I didn't see them or anything but they're more expensive than at Walmart so your best bet is just to buy them at Walmart it'll be a money maker I was going to do the Glade deal but I didn't I didn't have any of the coupons that you needed like the 1204 um, smart source I didn't buy that newspaper so uh, no Glade for me what else there's also a coupon see if I can get it. Uh, it's a $3 off home brand or threshold table linen item. And I heard that there is something, it's either a table runner or a tablecloth or a chair pad and that excludes placemats and napkins. So if you can find this, um, I heard that there's actually one that's $3 so you probably get free um, table linen, so that's awesome. That would have also gone into my Target deal, but I didn't find any. I just have a really hard time looking for stuff at Target. Like, there's so many aisles. I can never find anything. Um, there's also, really important, well, awesome money maker. I think it's like Uno or Scramble cards or something like that, that they have a $5 coupon inside of the box. Uh, supposedly they're up by the registers, but I didn't find any, so, oh well. Uh, yeah, they have a $5 off coupon, and in some stores, they are $4.99, so that is a one-cent money maker. Um, also, at my store, they were $4, so that's a $1 money maker. So that could have gone towards um, the $50 that you have to spend in order to get $10 back. So my plan was to buy 10 of the UNO cards, um, open it up, get out the coupon, and then I would have gotten that $10 gift card too. So that would have been an awesome money maker, but unfortunately I didn't find it. Um, so if you guys can snag that deal, that will be an awesome money maker. And that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you to all my subscribers. And I will try and make a video as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.